Hey everybody, welcome to Broadway.com's Live at Five. It is Tuesday, April 3rd, and I, as always, am Ryan Lee Gilbert. As always. As always. And I'm Paul Wontorek. <laughs> and we are joined here in the studio by our wonderful content producer, Matt Roden. Hi, everybody. Uh, wait a minute, Ryan. Do I see Mr. Wesley Taylor on you the other side of the camera? Do is he see our Wesley guest Taylor. today? He is SpongeBob SquarePants' is Wesley oh Taylor. Oh, my God. Whoop, 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 whoop. Very Very favorite. Excited. I know. In I'm the so house. Excited. Very excited. But first, before we talk to Wes, Matt, why don't you tell us about today's or top Wesley. five? Wes, Wes. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we found out today about this from Broadway with Love concert that's happening uh, for the Parkland kids. And, and yeah, Paul, tell, tell us about it. From Broadway with Love, a benefit yes. concert for Parkland USA. So this will happen on April 16th in Sunrise, Florida. Sunrise, Florida. At the BBNT Center at uh, 7 p.m. Proceeds raised by the concert will be donated to the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas Victims Fund and Shine MSD to benefit arts advocacy in the Parkland community. That's super cool. And That's a lot amazing. of uh, your favorite people have signed on so for this. Many. Are you ready? I'm just gonna, there's too many just to list, but I'm gonna give you some highlights. Matthew Morrison, or Matt Morrison, it's kind of like the Wes Wesley thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Christy Altamar, Telly Leong, Rachel Bloom, Deborah Cox, Wayne Brady, Noah Galvin, Justin Guarini, Laura Balbundi. Wow. Yeah, so it's going to be That's a really starry, cool. amazing night. So yeah. April 16th, if you're in Florida. Sunrise, Florida. That's going to be the place to be. Fun home is going to London. Oh my I think word. it's fun to say fun home like that now, because it's <laughs> London, right? Uh, you're but giving it a British accent? Fun <laughs> yeah, home. fun home. <laughs> Mate. Yes, fun home is about to make its premiere in London. Who's in it? Olivier Award winner and Tony nominee Jenna Russell is playing oh Ellen Bechdel, my. which is amazing. Her days and days, like I... Days and days. You're going to listen like, to I'm just going to listen to her days well, and days for it. days and days. I hope they you do. Know, Don't you want it with a British accent? Don't you want it with a British Tony accent? Nominee. She can do American She was accents. Tony nominated. I saw her in Merrily We Roll Along, and she um, was an American. Yes, and in she was nominated one. for playing Dot yes, Sunday in the Park yes, of George. Yeah. Um, so yes, this is happening at the Young Vic, of course, beginning June 18th, and its opening is scheduled for June 27th, so this summer. Is Sam Gold reprising he his... He is reprising <laughs> his directing duties. It's so interesting that you knew that, Paul. Yes, he absolutely is. Um, and we will find out who the other cast members are who will be filling out all of the other Bechtel family roles very soon, hopefully. So it won't be in the round. It won't be well, in the round. Know. It'll be in. I think it'll be in. Well, I, I don't think it's the young Vic. Uh, Maybe it will. Don't quote me. Actually, Maybe because it's the they, I mean, because it's changed back and forth. Remember, it was proscenium, do, then in the round, and the tour is proscenium. You can do fun home anywhere. You can. There's it's very a heart. adaptable. <laughs> anywhere there's well a heart. That should go. Speaking on. of hearts, Katrina Lank. She booked a TV show, Paul. Katrina Lang. Katrina she's, Lang. She's like Broadway's uh, darling. Yeah, right she's now, like right? the it girl. Yeah. She was just here today. Um, she and uh, she's gonna be on the what's it called? The, the good, good fight. fight. The good which fight. Which is CBS yeah, All the good, Access. The good fight. So it's a season two. So mm -hmm. do you watch the good fight? I don't. No. Okay. Because you're anti-streaming. No, no you're I love <laughs> streaming. I'm, <kidding. laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Uh, she'll have a recurring role. It's CBS All Access, um, which doesn't, you know, now it's that used to be like that used to be like a radical thing, but now it's right. right. Yeah, no, thank no, you, no, thank yeah. you for putting it in my mouth. Okay, <laughs> Lenk will play Nafatali Amato, right? The fiance of Colin Sweeney, who Dylan Baker's character. Yep. Um, of course, she's in the band's visit. Yep. And we love her. She's and amazing. So she's, this is a nice TV gig for her. That's super. Did cool. you know that she was on um, her first TV gig ever? She was on Will and Grace. I did not Who know that. She? And she also pops up in The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Well, that's, heard, right? that was yeah. her last TV credit. What? Right. I was gonna say, I was so gonna... we just talked about her first so and her that, last, wait, but now whole... she has a new one. So who was she in Will wait, and who, Grace? Wait, who was she on Maisel? Uh, this, I'm shook yeah. by this. She was a fortune teller. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, full drag. Yeah, full <laughs> drag. Right. It was good. Um, David Cook joining Kinky Boots tonight, Ryan. Yes, David Cook, American Idol winner. You know, that season I rooted for David Archuleta. But you know, I'm sorry, but Why David, are you David Cook. That? Well, I mean, just at the time, David Cook has clearly so had the more successful, and it's like that's very problematic. I was to have a been big, a David Archuleta. Fan I was a now. big like, David he, Cook fan. I was he, a big. He, Archuleta most Archuleta everyone fan. else was, and you were all right. He won, so I mean, way to go. But yes, now he is Charlie Price in Kinky Boots. Starting tonight. Can Starting we give a shout tonight. out to Joanne Vellani? Yes, our our Psych our producer, very own Joanne Vellani is so big David excited Cook fan. for this. As am I. Yeah. This one likes Archuleta. Not anymore. Well, what? I still like. <laughs> okay. Uh, last but not least, St. Joan is starting performances tonight, Paul. 
Well, the drama is on. Yes. Right? I'm so excited Condola to see Rashad. Um, oh, wow. There's a lot of notes here about this, actually. It starts <laughs> well, at the Samuel J. Friedman Theater. Mm -hmm. Daniel Sullivan's directing it. He is. I MTC feel like, isn't it like Condola Rashad and every, like, Fun, interesting guy. Yes. Oh, and, oh, yeah. oh. Just Except for by... Wes, Wesley Well, Taylor's yeah, but there's busy. there's a there's a, there's a smash he connection couldn't... here. What? There's a a, sh a smash connection here in St. Well, I, I was trying to give Wes Taylor a shout out. I'm trying to build people up. He's coming soon. Don't worry. he will be right here. Um, yes, there is. Jack Davenport is in it. Thank yes. you. I'm sorry. Yes. I know whenever anything about Smash, you're supposed yeah. to like and now, highlight and anything. You're supposed to put like a circle around anything. Revolving. And Cat McPhee ah. is about to be here on the boards. <laughs> um, and you know who else was on Smash? Who else? Wesley Taylor. <laughs> um, uh, Walter Bobby's in it. Yes. Now, Which Walter is so cool. Bobby. Director of Chicago. Walter Bobby yeah. used to just be a character actor. Yeah. Now he's the, one of the most successful directors on Broadway. He directs, you know, he gets a Chicago. Yeah, check and every Bright week. Star. Oh, yeah, Bright Star. Yeah, and Daniel mm -hmm. Sunyata, Adam Shane Barat, Patrick Page, John Glover. Anyway, it's going to be good. Cool. Can't and it's wait. about, uh, what's her name? Joan of Arc. Joan of Arc. Yes. And it's on Broadway starting tonight. Starting tonight. And David Cook in Kinky Boots tonight. Look at that. What an exciting Two things night. that have nothing to yeah, do with each other. <laughs> well, Paul, thank you so much for doing oh, thank you. Thank you so much for doing the news with me. Matt, why don't you tell us about today's guest? Okay, here we go. Wesley Taylor is eating a salad and... Got his BFA at the North Carolina School of the Arts before pursuing a career in acting. I feel like you should just bring the salad on with you. I think that would be really, I'm, I'm kind of into it's that idea. It's not a salad. <laughs> it's not a salad. Uh, he's made appearances on TV in The Good Wife, Looking, and that little show called Smash, as well as the interweb series Indoor Boys, and It Could Be Worse. Off-Broadway and regional credits include Little Miss Sunshine, Cabaret, An Act of God, and Tales of a City. Taylor made his Broadway debut as France in Rock of Ages, going on to play Lucas in The Adams Family, and currently you can catch him in SpongeBob SquarePants, the musicale, as the plotting protozoa, Sheldon J. Plankton, which is what he's here to talk about today. If you have questions for Wes, which I know that you do, please leave them in the comment section below, and we'll get to them, we'll get to as many as we possibly can. Uh, now, here <laughs> is Ryan, Wes, and his not a salad. Look, now everyone is calling you Wes. See, a, I started something. I knew a, what I was doing. It's uh, <laughs> Wes is for those who are familiar with me. That's so right. Matt, I would yep. appreciate it if you stopped calling me Wes. And yes. now I, I'm a person who has interviewed you. One person in this room has now interviewed you. <laughs> I find it very interesting that Paul opted out of interviewing me. This is something that we've actually talked about at length because I find it very remarkable that Paul seems to only interview Aaron Tveit, Derek Klenna, Matt Doyle. Like, beautiful leading men. Well, it's... And Adina he Menzel. Well, you he know stays what? away from the character actors, the villains. Do you guys want to see more of them? <laughs> Voice it. Tell Broadway.com who you want to see. Here's, well, this is the... The only time you'll be here. This is a this is a ginger bowl and not a salad. <laughs> this yes. Yeah, so to be fair, yes, we interrupted. Oh yeah. We interrupted your day a little bit. You, no, that's talk. all right. No, it's not about me. It's all about you. You're right. You were you were very busy. You were at the gym. Forty five minutes ago, I was at the gym. <laughs> yeah. I got a call. I'm really really so sorry to all of Lily Cooper's fans. <laughs> I'm so sorry. She's not feeling well. I'm so She's sorry. Out of the show. She's sick. For tonight, so, for like, tonight. don't I make mean, it so dramatic. Yeah, I mean, she's, <laughs> <laughs> she's not dead, but she's a little under the weather, and um, I'm filling in. You are for Lily. I'm it, sorry to no, all of her diehards. No, don't die apologize. I'm sorry that I'm eating my dinner. Please, no, but, you've got um, a life to live. Yeah, I got things to do. I yeah. got PT after this. I gotta go. Absolutely. So, so let's let's hurry this up. No, but um, SpongeBob, SpongeBob SquarePants, the musical. I just put a huge piece of steak. Huge on piece. <laughs> huge. I'll keep talking. Yeah. I'll I'll kill some time here. Um, I love this show. Every Everybody loves this show, but truly, it's my pinned tweet how much I love this show at the moment. That's what I'm doing. Um, I know I love this show so much. You guys are all incredible. How much fun? How are we? How are we doing with me? Stop um, it it, lo it looks like you guys are all having a real blast in <laughs> Bikini Bottom. You are plankton. You speed rap. Yeah. You know, you do. You, I mean, you do all sorts of amazing, incredible things. And choreography. And choreography. And you, you are just. You're absolutely incredible in the show. I want you to know that. <laughs> but you're all <laughs> incredible in the show. <laughs> How much fun 
is it to be a part of this remarkable <laughs> musical? This is the best Live at Five that's ever happened in the history of Live at Five. What was the question? <laughs> I don't even remember anymore. We're having a blast. Yeah, of course you are. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun, yeah, right? I'm yeah. like a little... Oh, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> just so... Just feel prepared for this. Um, yeah, we're having a blast. It's just like one of those shows where if I'm having a bad day, I like go to work and the infectiousness just... I mean, it, it mm -hmm. radiates. I mean, I've done several long runs, but this is like... The one that I feel like I could probably do forever. Yeah. I mean, I shouldn't say that maybe, but. <laughs> well, we'd like you to do it forever. Well, yeah. thank you. You're welcome. And uh, it's it's funny. So the Rock of Ages yeah. is going out. It's about to embark on a 10th anniversary tour. Sure. So you made your Broadway debut nine years ago. Have you, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah 2018. Yeah, right around this time. Started yeah. March, April. Yeah. Um, have you had a chance to reflect on this journey of yours? Any any moments stick out for you? The Tony Awards was, was like a night that I'll never forget. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, that was really, you know, it, I also took it for granted because I was right out of school. Mm -hmm. And um, I hadn't experienced the sort of, you know, I got it, you know, I was on probably six months out of school. So I had no concept of like hand to mouth, living paycheck to paycheck, sure, that kind yeah. of thing. And you really like, appreciate what it means to be on Broadway when you're not for a while, mm -hmm. you know? So I think I, I probably took it for granted, but it was the stupidest Broadway debut I could have had. I mean, I mean I, it was I, just I had something, it kept getting number. bigger and bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah like just, the show itself. Like oh, just, oh, yeah, the show itself uh, yeah, was... Yeah, just people... I, I just spit it up. <laughs> no, that is, a, that is a finicky piece you're of welcome. steak. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, the show, it's the show that kept giving. Like, we... we you know, I have to say I was a, a bit of a snob because I had graduated from drama school. I had just done Henry IV. I thought I was like mm -hmm. Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I graduate from school, and, you know, I get cast in this 80s rock jukebox bubblegum, mm -hmm. you know, musical. And I'm embarrassed to, like, invite my faculty to come see it because mm -hmm. I think that it's going to be less than, and they're not going to appreciate, you know, right. the artistry. <laughs> <laughs> and, in fact, like... A lot of my teachers came and they were like, what are you talking about? This is the training. This yeah. is comedy technique. This is everything. Right. And when you realize that there's room for the, the work in everything. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I find it interesting that I also keep getting cast in like the people show. Like I never like the band's visit. I'm always like in <laughs> Rock of Ages, Adam's Family, right. SpongeBob, you know, yeah. like the people show. And mm -hmm. like the corporate commercial friend, the show that theater people want to hate. Always. And then they go and see it, and they, and they realize yeah. how effing well, incredible it is. Maybe not Adam's family, but Rock of Ages and SpongeBob, yeah, no, they, they, yeah, but they go and they see it, and they are, yeah. it exceeds their expectations. Well, and that's one of the things that struck me, like, watching, because I was a fan of SpongeBob SquarePants, the cartoon, and I was really excited about this. But, you know, I didn't know. You never know with a property like right. this, because it, it could be, like, an Adam's Stop. family situation. Or, you know, but it ended up being, it's incredible. It's so relevant. It's yeah. so timely. Did you, was there a, was there that hesitation for you again this time? Were you a little bit nervous to join something that came with such, you know, the, so many people already loved it so much and it was already a property that. It was a lot of pressure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I just want everyone to know that I just finished eating that piece of steak. <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that, that was like a, a full five yeah. minutes. It's a live I mean, five get, minute. It's, you chew. get what you pay for. Yeah, that's quality. This is so rude that's of me. Is this, do you want <laughs> no, any? No, thank Matt, you. Matt, thank Paul. you. <laughs> um, wait, what? I uh, just. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Thumbs <laughs> America. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> um yes. look. I was living in LA. I like started to really feel like an Angelino. I had just gotten a car. I had just gotten this other job that I was really excited to do, and I was I was really feeling it out there. Mm -hmm. And so when I got the call, it it really and it wasn't the call like you got the part. I had to go to New York and uh, do a three day workshop that was basically my audition. Yeah, but with the entire cast who had already gotten Done their in Chicago. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like an audition in front of the entire company. Oh no! Yeah, no pressure. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And, uh, but I was, I was conflicted for sure because I like came back to New York and the trains were down and it was raining <laughs> and like all of the things that make the you, dream. Yeah. Just, just I know <laughs> I don't want to move back here. Like I, yeah. I really started loving it out there. Um, but then during the workshop when we were working on the show, I was just like, damn, 
damn it, it's good. It is. Like, it's really good, and it's Tina Landau, mm -hmm. you know? And, like, these opportunities don't come all the time, and so I had to move back. Right. And I had to do it. Um, and I'm so proud of it. In fact, the, the message and the relevancy of it, what, what you're talking about, is one of the reasons I'm most proud of it. I yeah, absolutely. Say. And I think that's what, because, you know, people ask, you know, be, me all the time, like, oh, we're coming to New York. What we should, what should, what should we see? And I recommend SpongeBob SquarePants all the time. And you kind of get that look of like, really? Like, and it's like, no, yeah. you are. Go it's going to always, reward you right? in ways. People always, always are like, yeah. really? You get that real, and it's like it's going to reward you in ways you don't even anticipate yet. Absolutely. And it's so smart, and the music's incredible. Um, I would love an original Broadway cast album because if I don't get you and Jaylen committed to something I permanently. Stop. I should stop being so <laughs> passive aggressive about the album because oh. I've started getting in trouble. <laughs> well, I'll say it. I, I'll be the one. I'll say I've been it, like right? heavily pushing it on yeah. Twitter. There's just so many like online petitions already from the mm -hmm. fans and stuff and like they it there is like a very real demand for mm -hmm. an original Broadway cast recording. I'm sorry Melissa. She's our PR girl <laughs> and she's looking at me over there with a red face and I know our producers are like white neckling their table as they watch this and I'm Sorry, but, but it would be yeah. We want. I'll pay for it. They, I'll even. They want our recording. I even have Spotify, but I'll pay for this. I'll do whatever I need to do. Um, you guys had so much fun at Miscast. Yeah. You, Ethan, and Gavin. Yeah. Uh, you did a number from Company. Yeah. Oh, that must have been such a blast. So funny. I drive a person crazy. Yes. And I almost fell for your April Fool's joke recently about you and Gavin switching rules because I hate. April Fool's Day, and it's just very triggering so you to always me. Get tricked. Because I always do. I mean, I shouldn't trust anything that happens on the internet anytime. Yeah. But for that one day, it's like I'm well, suddenly it was, suspicious. But about also, like people, I, I think were a little more gullible because they forgot because it was Easter too. Right. And so it was they so, were, it was they the were like thinking yeah. about bunnies and eggs and chocolate. Yeah. And Jesus. And Jesus. And then uh, <laughs> and all of a sudden, Jesus. like people are playing these like major casting jokes, and it's yeah. like, you know. But the 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 Gavin thing, like I tweeted it. Like right, like early in the morning, and mm -hmm. I didn't even tell Gavin or anyone. I was just like, "We're switching parts." Thank you so much, producers and Tina, for letting uh, yeah. this happen. And people, I mean, a lot of like, you know, a lot of people believed it, but most people were like, "Come on, April Fools, whatever." Mm -hmm. But then I, I screenshotted it and sent it to Gavin, and he was like, "Oh, we have to." We have I to think it's in. a great idea. And yeah. they wouldn't let us put each other's wigs on. Which mm. was boring, <laughs> but we put each other's. Uh, we got to the theater early and put each other's costumes on and like did some makeup. It's fantastic, and then just like cropped off like the part where the wig would be. Yeah, and we posted that, and then people were like, "Wait, I thought this was a joke, but now." I'm well, confused. that's that's how I I'm kept scared. getting like further in. I was like, "Is this really happening? And how can I how can I make sure I see this?" Yeah. Um, but I'm sure I'm sure lots of you have lots of fans, and the show has lots of fans. I'm sure they want to know things. Oh, they have so many. Matt, questions. what would oh. they like? What would they like to know? Good luck. We'll. I thought I wouldn't get any because it's Lily Cooper's guy. And <laughs> I... They're all like, we hate what? No. Um, okay. Shut up, John man. wants to know. John, he John. said, what was your first Broadway show? Rock of Ages. No, the first Broadway show that you ever saw. <laughs> um, actually, Although if he was asking, that would be really funny. I was too. like, pay attention. Pay attention, John. Um, <laughs> um, my first Broadway show was actually, this is special. It was in the Palace Theater. Which oh. is now where I'm working. That's right. Uh, and it was Beauty and the Beast. Oh my God, that was my first Broadway oh. show too. Look at that. That's so cool. Let's kiss. That's uh, <laughs> Olivia wants to know, Olivia, what is your dream role? Do you have any dream roles? I do. I I say this in every. I need some more dream roles because I only have. Well, we're manifesting it. Let's just like Iago in Shakespeare's Othello. Mm. What it's is a it? it was. It's a part I, I was born to a play. A yeah. villain. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I do yeah. <laughs> gravitate towards the darkness. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great um, role, though. Well, a quick one. Haley, what's your favorite Schmackery's cookie? Oh, I don't frequent Schmackery's as much as I should. This is already taking longer than it should have. Oh. <laughs> this is... Um, give me some <laughs> options. I like peanut butter stuff. Great, so, there you go. There's a peanut butter one. Um, David, he said, I loved you in Smash. Do you, do you remember that show? Um, do you have... Is this David Cook? No. Um, <laughs> do you have a favorite memory from that show? Uh, yeah. Uh, favorite memory from Smash would have to be first season when <clears throat> Bernadette Peters comes to the rehearsal of the workshop mm -hmm. of Bombshell. Mm -hmm. And uh, my character is obsessed, naturally. And he's sort of like queening out over her and he screams at her to sing something. And she sings 
Rose's turn for us <laughs> in the rehearsal studio. And, you know, when we were shooting it that day, I got to watch Bernadette Peters like three feet away from me sing Rose's turn like 15 yeah. times. So that was probably like... That's up there? <laughs> that's up there, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she insisted that she do it live to a, a, a track a, a few of the times for, for a few of the takes, um, wow. which was so badass and... She's just, you know, she was like the first person of the theater I think I really idolized. And, and I, I had a stage door picture with her after Gypsy when I was 16 mm-hmm. years old. And I'm like blissed out. And, at, you know, and I showed her that picture on set. And she's like, well, we have to recreate it. And so we like <laughs> shot back to back pictures of me like kissing her or her kissing my cheek. And <sighs> <laughs> have you seen Have you seen her dolly? Yeah. I have. You oh have. Oh my God! For Valentine's Day. Oh, look at I that! I took the boy, and we were in the second row center. That was the wow. next question like that was on the up, list. Looking up into her nostrils. <laughs> it was glorious. Um, David wants to know what's the last thing you said or texted to your sweetie, Isaac Powell. Wow. I think you were there. for <laughs> I it. I was there for it. You were just Marco Poloing outside of this studio, but I can't remember. What I said. You oh, said, I leave s- me alone. I, I said, leave me alone. Nice. I said, leave me alone. It's very lovely. Isn't Broad- that nice? Broadway, Broadway superpower couple there. You guys are like three blocks from each other. That's lovely. It is really lovely. Yeah. Do you, got, do you, do you, like, do you have lunch together every day and stuff like that? All the like time, yeah. yeah. Not, not every day. No. You need some me time. <laughs> he's actually, he's taken a few personal days to go back home to North Carolina. And um, so I have the place to myself for this week. And it's... It's kind of nice. Mm, I'm sure. I'm gonna get. We're gonna get in a fight because of this interview. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, Haley, what's your favorite show this se- season that isn't SpongeBob? Do you have a show, favorite show this season that isn't SpongeBob? Can I say Once on This Island? Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Great. Um, Fatima says, "Hi, Wes. I'm a junior and thinking about college, and your alma mater is pretty high on my list. Can you talk a little bit about your experience there?" Uh, truly, it was like the best four years of my life. I know that's kind of a cliche thing to say, but I mean it. Um, and Isaac is now also, Isaac went to School of the Arts as well, and he's also going through this sort of withdrawal. Um, it's very, very challenging, but if you really, really thrive on hard work and stress, it's, it's, it's a great place yeah, to be. Yeah, it's art every day. Yeah. Like you just get to immerse yourself. But some people it. are overwhelmed by that. Mm-hmm. Some people are like, this feels like boot camp. I yep, need sure. to, to live life. And not everyone is designed for a conservatory. Um, yeah. You know, a lot of people need to go to that university uh education and a lot of people don't need educate they need to travel the world and Mm -hmm. um but for me personally i know i needed further education i I knew i didn't want to be in like new york or chicago or a a busy city that would distract me because i know me and i know that i would just start auditioning and um and i wanted to to get my bfa and um and yeah there was something really beautiful about being in the middle of nowhere in the woods absolutely and, and, and that kind of uh, I mean, it's it's a great school. It's a really good school. Um, Alexa, are there aspects of Plankton's personality that you see reflected in your own personality? Well, I can answer this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> um, yeah, there is something inherently sinister about me that's actually been said to me. And at one point, it really was hurtful. It was right after I graduated college, and I couldn't get seen for this one show that everyone in Rock of Ages were, were getting appointments for. Mm. And it was... Uh, I'm, Name I, I can't. I, I can't even give you clues because you're going to know who I'm talking about, this director, because he's very famous. But I've said this in like a few interviews so far. Like, it, and it's like, just Obviously, managed. like, really... <laughs> it really... This is really not what the It's embedded. It's a thorn. But he, he just said, like, you know... <clears throat> He didn't. You know, he didn't want to see me for the show, and my my agents, you know, pressed back. Why? And he said there is something innately untrustworthy about Wesley <laughs> when he walks into a room, and um, I took that really personally, obviously. But then, I think through time, I've sort of like embraced it. Yeah, um, absolutely. You took it and made it fashion. Look, these yeah. are the better parts anyway. They're the more complex sort of fun roles for me to play. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I'm, I'm happy I'm finally They're so much fun. playing a delicious villain. He's, yeah. he's so fun. Yeah. Um, Shamika, how comfortable were you with rapping? <laughs> I, I, I didn't have like any experience rapping. Rap, rapping. Rapping. That's how good I am. I'm so good at rapping. Um, 
No, I, I, I mean, other than like jamming out to Big Willie style when I was yeah. a kid, you know, like <laughs> the hard like. ones, like the hard gangsters. Sure. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. Um, I didn't. And then I was told not only I would be like hip hopping and rapping, but they were working on a speed rap for me that was brand new for Broadway, and I, I didn't get it until like a week before tech, so I was oh stressing. My God. Uh, and I also didn't learn the dance break till a week before tech. Uh, things were happening so last minute because they were changing, they were expanding the role and the song and all of that, um, which felt awesome and felt I felt very right, special. Yeah. But uh, it was it was scary. Did yeah. you just like practice it constantly yes, yes, I, all I, I, the time? The speed rap is something nuts. that I I drilled like morning, noon, and night for 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 days and days and days mm-hmm. for like a solid week. It's days like and days. just <laughs> for a solid week. It's it's all I. That's all I did. Yeah. Um, so now I don't even think about it. Now it just no, comes it just out rolls no on. No matter what. Yeah. One last question um, from Allie. Hi, Allie. Uh, how did you come up? How did you and Alex Weiss come up with the idea for Indoor Boys? And is there a release date for season two? That's great. There isn't a release date yet, but we go into production in ten days. I will say that. Uh, we finished writing it about a month ago or three weeks ago, and we've been just planning like crazy for the last few weeks. And Alex flies in in a week, and we're very excited to start shooting. Casting is complete. I can't wait to reveal so the cast. Wait. So it's insane. insane. That's gonna be like, great. really, really raise the clout on the cast, and uh, it's going to be really, really dope. But um, what was the question? How did you come up with the idea? How do we come up with the idea? Well, uh, Alex is someone, you know, he's from the theater, but he moved to L.A., and I was sort of connecting with my New York, my East Coast family out on the West Coast. And Alex is someone that I just have so much respect for. I think he's the funniest person in the world. So I wanted to do something with him. I wanted to collaborate, but we didn't know what. And I had written a, a short 10-minute play that was uh, that the Actors Fund um, did a reading of uh, along with uh, these other 10-minute plays. And this one play um, was about these two millennial monsters, these two <laughs> boys who were gay and living together and just sort of played with each other and... and um, there's a lot of things reminiscent of, of Alex and I's friendship um, and how we joke with each other. And it's like the exaggerated, embellished versions of those alter egos um, come to life. Uh, we also thought it was really funny to tell a story about two gay guys who just like, don't want to ever leave the apartment <laughs> and don't have anything to do mm-hmm. but their tablets and each other. It's great. It's Thanks. fantastic. Can't wait. Well, make sure you go see Wesley Taylor or Wes. If you're friends, you know, but I'm gonna I'm gonna stress that the Wesley. If you choose to go with the Wesley, there's no Z in my name. Wesley, Wesley. It's not Wes. It's not Wesley. It's not Wesley. It's Wesley. It's Wesley. Taylor. We're gonna get that right. We're gonna get that right on the record. Mm-hmm. Wesley. Right here. And there's Wesley never a T in my name either. Starbucks. <laughs> Ever. How many Westleys <laughs> do you know, guys? How many West? What do they write? West. Kanye. <laughs> Go see Wesley Taylor as Sheldon Plankton in SpongeBob SquarePants at the Palace Theater here on Broadway. Follow him on Instagram, Twitter. It's very rewarding. Check out Indoor Boys on Vimeo, all of that good stuff. Wesley Taylor, thank you so this much for coming really in. This was really fun. This was great. I'm glad you had a good time. Lily, stay in back. <laughs> and uh, come back, watch us tomorrow. Matt, I'm sorry, this is your part of the thing. Take us out, why don't you? You guys know the deal. We do this live every single weekday at 5 p.m. here on Broadway.com's Facebook page. We also put it on YouTube, on our website, all that stuff. We also release this as a podcast. This will be an interesting one to listen to. You can hear Wesley chew right intimately in your ear. We release it right after we uh, we do this, so go listen to that. Go Subscribe to the Live at Five podcast, wherever you get your podcast. Join us tomorrow. John Riddle, chiseled chiseled chin John Riddle from uh, Frozen will be here. We'll see you guys then. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Bye. <laughs>